My goal today is to show you some new species that you haven't seen yet. A new trend predicted by many plant people is that variegated plants are back. Not only back, but new species are flooding the market and we are all just eating it up. Today I'll show you my top 10 variegated philodendrons for 2024 that I think will do really well and also show you some stunning photos from some amazing growers on Instagram. I've done a good job of saving all the new plants that Instagram has been pushing to me in the past, let's say, year and I'm gonna show you right now. And since all of these photos are posted publicly at the moment of recording, I am counting on fair use so I won't have any problems with copyrights and also all the Instagrams are included. <gasps> Where is my script? Really, I said it's only 10, but there is way more than that. I will start with the best, and then at the end, I'm just gonna show you a few ugly ones that I really need your opinions on, so we'll do that later. Let's just get into number one. Where is the list right now? I made a list. Where is my list? Ah. Okay, so number one, I really like it. It's a very good philodendron tordum. I think a lot of people already have the normal tordums and I still need to get myself one because uh, it's gonna be on my wish list, obviously. I haven't seen a ton of variegated ones, but the variegation is this kind of creamy color. I've only seen a few pics, really, and they look really amazing. I really like just the structure of the leaf and how variegation works with that. Uh, I think it's gonna cost a lot just like all of the other plants on this list but um, we're not gonna get into prices today but it's definitely one that I would like to get at some point because I think I would really like it so number two is not a philodendron biliatier variegated which you have already seen like last year it's a new one it's a philodendron adabapoensi variegated so okay this one has a special kind of color palette to it. I think some people will either love it and some people will either hate it. I am kind of on the side that I like it because if you just look like from top and the light is coming from top down, I think it looks a bit cloudy. The color is not exactly, you know, uh, I don't know exactly how to say it. If you shine the light like from behind and you look at the leaves, like they're so amazing. This kind of red color, they're so cool. You're gonna see it on the photos, obviously, but oh my God, they're so pretty. It's one that many people I think will be having this year because it's just really special. And since we all love the variegated Biliatier, I think this one is definitely one to keep an eye out. How many times am I gonna say this? Just, just keep that in mind. Okay, number three is the only one in this list that I actually own and it's the Philodendron Orange Princess. I wanted to introduce this because it's been really on uprise. I also made a video a long time ago and it's starting to get a lot more views. So the plant is definitely gaining on popularity. Philodendron Orange Princess is just like the normal Philodendron Pink Princess that we all love, but it's orange and it's it's special and it's new. I'm gonna make a full video about it, don't even worry about it. The variegation on the plant is very special. It starts out this beautiful red-orangey kind of tone. I think it's something with light and or temperature because mine are currently coming out with kind of pinky kind of leaves, not really orange, but some people get them really, really orange, uh, and then they slowly, slowly, slowly fade down to yellowish, and then slowly, slowly, slowly to light green. And I'm talking like maybe it's gonna take like a year for the leaf to turn from like orange to light green. Honestly, beautiful plant. I'm propagating them. I have so many of them. They're not as orange as I would want them to be, but again, they were basically a free plant, so not complaining at all. I'm gonna talk way more about them in the video that I'm gonna make pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. Number four, the original plant has apparently been out for a long time. At least in America, I think many people can get them. Here in Europe, Absolutely not. I've never even like heard of one like people talking about it, but it's a philodendron summer glory variegated I only saw maybe one or two pics about this, but oh my god the orange variegation and I'm seeing the pattern like I think new the new pattern kind of is orange red and this is definitely what we need because orange and red variegation is really rare so i think this is kind of the trend uh predictions for 2024 yeah i don't know i i love the summer glory by itself because it's a mix of philandrian gloriosum and another one they're so pretty oh my god and uh, yes i love how they look i don't think i'll ever see it in real life just saying okay number five Oh my god, this one is very very new. 
Philodendron varicosum variegated. That's insane. I've only seen two plants like from one Instagram poster. The variegation is apparently white, but when it comes in, I think it's like orangey kind of thing. It's special because varicosums have like the red blushes on the back and it's very interesting how it makes this weird patterns when the variegation hits those spots. It's very interesting and I think we'll be seeing a lot of those because they are honestly very pretty. You can get kind of more pinky variegation and oh my god, the stem with the, the sheath. There is the photo that I saw from the original poster that's insane. The pinks and the yellows and it's all just beautiful. This one is here more just like I've just seen it and I'm just putting it here. It's a Philandrian Imbilii variegated. Um, I think is this just... I don't have the photo in front of me, but it's basically this very like dark long leaf with some orange red variegation. Only seen one photo, literally, but I want to mention it here. Another princess. Okay, this is the Philodendron Yellow Princess. It's a plant with two colors of variegation, which is not very common at all. It has the normal white princess, you know, white variegation, and then it has yellow variegation, which is, I guess, just an interesting spin on the normal white princess that can get, you know, pink and white variegation. I don't know if it's really my type. The yellow just kind of isn't for me exactly, but I do see that a lot of people I think would actually love it. I've also seen, uh, I'm not gonna find the photo, but it's, it was the showing the stem and there was pink, yellow, white, green. It's all in there. If there's going to be nice specimens, maybe I'll give it a try at some point if it's gonna get cheap. And now we actually come to a very, very special one for me. Y'all know that I love Philandrian Melanochrysum, and this year, obviously, we're gonna get a lot of variegated Melanochrysums. Yes, they have been available in the past year. However, in my area, like here, Europe, I've only seen like one with a speck of variegation and it was 70 euros. I'm not gonna say I didn't think about it, but when I thought about it for more than two seconds, I was like, no, 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 no. It was one leaf with small speck of variegation. Absolutely not. They kind of range from looking beautiful to kind of sickly, just with every plant that can happen, of course, but variegation either makes it really amazing or just kind of weird. And you're gonna see that with the ugly ones. I really want to have this one. When it comes out, the new leaves might be either kind of white, yellowish, or they get really pink. I already forgot the numbers, but we all love Philodendron glorosum, but if you add variegation on it, we all go crazy. Variegation comes in yellowish, and it slowly fades down to fully white. They are absolutely incredible. Kelly Allen has been talking a lot about them because they're absolutely beautiful. I would love to have one of these. Honestly, my Gloriosum has been causing a little bit of issues, but now it's in Lekka and it's doing fine. Yeah, definitely one to get for yourself. So here's one that is already kind of more expensive, uh, but it's going to get even more expensive because very good at Philodendron UPI. Now, they are very interesting. It's a special taste. Obviously, you'll see by the leaves that it's not a very basic shape of the leaves. It's kind of interesting. You don't really see that. A lot but variegation gets kind of from very yellowy to kind of white-ish i like it not to the point where i would buy it for a lot of money but you know for cheap maybe i would have it i was like you know what i would try a upi if i got my hands on one so not saying never but maybe uh, i've also heard of these from kaylee allen so these are philodendron green congo variegated they have they're like a ring of fire but on a Congo. Pretty nice variegation. We're still going in the way of orange, yellowy variegation on the green. I don't love it as much as I thought I would, especially with the Ring of Fire. I thought I would love it more. Maybe I grow up to it. I have a little bit of problem with these three. They all look very similar, but apparently there's some differences and I can't tell exactly what they are. We have Philodendron, Plaumanii, Mame, and Pastizanum, or Pastizanum Silver. They all get kind of different variegations, like don't come for me, but I can't make up which one is which from posts. I have, I think, the Mame. So if I'm correct, Plaumanii, the variegation comes in yellowish and fades down to light green. The Pastizanum, Pastizanum Silver, it's a white, white, white variegation. And the uh, Plaumanii, it stays kind of yellowy. I hope I got it correctly. I'm putting them all behind me somehow. Can't tell you much about them. 
Oh, I almost forgot the Philodendron Nungar TNC or the Fuzzy Petiole Variegated. I've only seen one photo of this, but they are so, so pretty. It's the vibe where the variegation kind of gets from white to like greener from the sides. You will know what I'm talking about, but it's a little weird to uh, describe. But Peace Lilies do that. The variegated ones, they kind of do that. Okay, so this last one I'm just throwing out there, but I forgot how they look, so... Philodendron Paloreanse variegated. I hope you like it. I think I liked it because if I didn't, I probably wouldn't put it on the list. The clouds are so beautiful. Just one thing before I get to the uglies, if you're still watching the video, please comment down below which one of these are your favorites and which ones are going on your wish list for this year. And think about subscribing if you like this kind of content. If only 10 of you subscribe, this video will already do better than most of my other videos, so it would be really, really thankful. Thank you! Okay, so these ugly ones I just really wanted to kind of share with you. I personally don't like them a lot, but we have the Philodendron Persimmon Princess. If I get it correctly, it's like the Philodendron Prince of Orange kind of crossed with the Philodendron Pink Princess. So you get kind of orange, pink variegated leaves. It's weird. I don't like it. But, you know, the trend is that kind of princesses, there's different types of variegated princesses that are coming to the market this year, which is interesting. This next one is Rise Up. Marble, mar rice up marble variegated. For me, this one is 50 50. Honestly, could be pretty, but it's not really for me. Again, decide for yourself. And then we have Burl Marks tricolor variegated. This one is just simply a no from me. No, thank you. This will be all from me today. I really hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.